typhoid fever or enteric fever the topic of today's discussion before I proceed, I would love to tell you people about the points that are supposed to be discussed with you guys in today's lecture. First of all, we'll talk about uh, typhoid causative organism, mode of transmission, clinical presentation. So we're moving then towards the incubation period. We'll talk about here the incubation period, then the diagnosis, how to diagnose treatment of the typhoid fever, pathophys of the typhoid fever. So well, we'll talk about all these and uh, these are actually the points that are going to be discussed, okay? So now let's get started on the very first point, that is the typhoid fever, which is also known as enteric fever. Enteric is from the intestine. Well, before, in the beginning, in the beginning, a person feels abdominal pain. Then after that, uh, there are several signs symptoms. We'll talk about that a moment later. In short, why it is called enteric fever, that's why I'm telling you here now uh, what the title of the today's lecture. This is actually the fever that starts from the intestine. That's why it is given the name as enteric fever. Causative organism, gram-negative Salmonella typhi, which is actually a rod-shaped bacteria. There are three types of the Salmonella typhi, A, B, and C. Now, what is the mode of transmission? Simple. It is transmitted from human to human, okay? Uh, infected human. An infected human is responsible to transmit this particular bacteria to another human. And what is the clinical presentation? Very simple. Abdominal pain. Fever. Fever will be in sense of what? Gradually increasing one. Step later the fever. There will be raw spots seen by and uh, there might be seen bleeding, diarrhea and constipation and blah, blah, blah. Several signs and symptoms can be seen. Incubation period is from one to three weeks. Incubation period. This may vary. Okay. This incubation period may vary. May change. Diagnosis, how will we diagnose simple? Through the signs and symptoms, we can identify that where the person is having what sort of disease. So here we got some signs and symptoms from that we can also diagnose. Well, we can also diagnose from the further, for uh, further clarification, we can go through these type of tests where we'll go through the IgG or IgM antibodies. Well, if we see IgG antibodies in the test, this indicates that this particular is actually in old uh, typhoid fever, where if we see the IgM, this indicates that this is the new one, uh, the new type of the fresh typhoid. And uh, we can also go through the blood, blood testing, stool tests are there by PCR, and uh, we can ask whether the person has been exposed to an area where there was actually this particular disease available or there was actually uh, prevalence of this particular disease. So if a person is exposed to such areas, so this is actually, there, there are such chances that the person will get infection where we get infected through those that uh, particular disease. So before moving towards the treatment, let's know about the pathophys, simple. When this typhoid uh, bacteria, typhoid fever causing bacteria, salmonella typhi, basically when this enters, this is ingested, this will move and will survive. If survives, the gastric acid will move towards the intestine where it will cross the mucosa. As it crosses mucosa, it will be engulfed by macrophages and that macrophages will direct it towards the lymph nodes called as the nearby lymph nodes, okay? Uh, called as the paired patches. So here, this will multiply. This bacteria will multiply. And uh, after the multiplication, this will lead, lead to the uh, hypertrophy hypertrophy of the pair, pair switches and uh, here the diarrhea may be seen and after that it will start moving uh, to the blood so a is it enters the bacteremia phase means when the bacteria enters the blood in this phase there are actually more than further sign and symptoms seen because of what there will be then the release of the cytokines those cytokines will then stimulate the um, temperature center so then there will be the rise seen in the temperature so fever may be seen in that way well after that it will move through the uh, to the gallbladder through biliary system and then it will be excreted via stool. So that's why we go through the blood tests. Why? Because it can be seen in the blood and uh, we go through the stool test because it can also be seen in the stool and antibodies are also seen thereby and uh, etc. So these are all those methods in which uh, this, is, this is the pathway. This is the pathophys of the enteric fever or of the typhoid and uh, regarding the test point of view I just mentioned the spots that why we go through the blood test and uh, blah 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 well so regarding treatment point of view it is a bacteria so we use certain antibiotics then with respect to the patients we can also go through the steroids and uh, then after that so according to the CMDT we will then just go through the treatment point of view now what is cmdt current medical and diagnosis treatment point of view so we can change the, the treatment strategy so this is half 
we go through the <laughs> lecture of the typhoid or entire fever. I hope you got. If still you have confusion anywhere, feel free to ask us in the comment box. And thank you for watching.